Hi, my name is Nagina Khalid. My name is Lisa Nandarian. And we are going to talk about how to dissociate a mouse's spleen in order to obtain specific immune cells. First, the spleen is dissociated from a mouse and is placed into a petri dish filled with phosphate buffered saline, or PBS, in order to keep the spleen hydrated. Then the dish is taken into a laminar flow hood in order to maintain a sterile environment. Yeah. Within the hood, the spleen is transferred from the PBS to the dish containing ethanol for sterilization and then into a dish containing complete medium, which is a liquid containing all the nutrients a cell needs to live off. Next, the spleen is cut into small pieces using scissors into a cell strainer. The back of the syringe is used in order to smash the spleen and pass the cells through the cell strainer into the complete medium, creating a single cell suspension. Then the strainer will be washed with complete medium in order to get the remaining cells into the dish. The cells within the spleen have now been obtained and can be used for further research. One immune cell of interest that can be isolated from the spleen is the CD4 positive T lymphocyte. This cell, when properly stimulated, can act as a powerful activator of anti-cancer immune responses. Our lab has learned to use this T cell in a vaccine plan against cancer. This approach is also currently used in human clinical trials.